Mungu mbele zake siku ya leo bwana wetu ambaye anatupenda sana. Tumesema tutatembea tukiwa ndani ya roho, tutakaa tukiwa ndani ya roho. Mambo yote tutafanya tukiwa ndani ya roho. Fungua kinywa chako mwambie siku ya leo akaweze kukuongoza huyo Bwana na huyo Mungu. Hakuna kama yeye siku ya leo. Worship the Lord this evening. Mwambie anaweza na mwambie anatosha. Hatuna mwingine kama yeye baba. Oh, worship the Lord. Glorify the Father. Worship King of Glory. Worship the Lord of God. Mwambie ni asante kwa vile anakupenda. Mwambie ni asante kwa vile anakujali. Mwambie ni asante siku ya leo. Hatuna mwingine kama yeye. Yeye anaweza.
Bwana wetu na Mungu wetu. Yes. We know that our redeemer is with us. Yes. Tunajua yule alituokoa anaishi. Yes. Yule ambaye alitupenda anaishi. Yes. Yes. Niasante kwa uwezo wako na nguvu zako. Niasante kwa vile umetujali siku ya leo. Yes. Sante kwa vile umetueta karibu na wewe siku ya leo. Yes. Yes. Na kuja mbele zako ili baba ukaweze kutuinua. Yes. Na kuja hapa wale ili ukaweze kunena nasi. Yes. Na kama miguni mwako siku ya leo. Yes. Ikajina la sumbama tumeamini. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Shukuru bwana kwa mana ametuleta siku ya leo. Ninema yake na nifadhili zake. Nimeokoka siku ya leo. Kwa mana amenilinda. Nikona utumaini la uzima wa milele. So ninaendelea na safari yangu ya binguni. Regardless of what's the enemy is doing on the other side haijalishi ni nini adui anasema ana maana anapanga pande ile ingine lakini mimi naendelea kumwamini bwana katika hali zote haleluya amen so don't worry don't look at what is happening look at jesus angalia yesu yule ambaye alianza kazi mzuri ndani yako atakuja kuimaliza. Amen. So challenges may be there. Shida zinaweza kuwa pale. Lakini kuna kitu ambacho tunajua he's always with us. Hallelujah. Mathayo 28 mstari wa 20 akawaambia endeni mkafanye wale mataifa kuwa watumwa wangu, watumi, uh, mitume wangu mkiwafundisha kushika ambayo niliwaambia na roho niko pamoja nanyi paka mwisho wa dahaji is together with us up to the end of the world bwana asifiwe hiyo ni hakikisho mzuri ya kuwa kwa pamoja nasi mpaka mwisho wa mambo yote so don't worry and don't fear ndio tumeiba na tukasema because he lives i can face tomorrow kwa maana naishi ninaweza angari, ninaweza kutana na kesho naweza amka nikuwa na tumaini kwa maana yeye anaishi. Bwana asifiwe. I'm always with you. Leo ningetaka kunena na wewe kuzu the price to pay. The price ile dhamana ama ile gharama ambayo una 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 una, una, una kuripa. Price ni ile bei ya kitu ambacho unataka. Ukienda kununua kiatu inakuanga imeandikwa bei. Ukienda kununua guo inakuanga imeandikwa bei. So ile bei ni ile ambaye ile pesa ambayo mwenye hiyo kitu anataka ili mubadilishane. Wewe uwe ndio mwenye hiyo na ye aachwe na pesa. So the price is the value of a commodity. Ama price ni dhamana ama inaonyesha umuhimu wa hiyo kitu umefika na uh, kia, kia gogani so price inaonyesha the value the more valuable something is the more costly it is vile kitu kiko na dhamana ama kiko cha maana ndio kinakuwaga na bei kali amen god ni adhamana sana nayo iko na bei kali maji ni mazuri na ni mengi hallelujah lakini na iko na dhamana lakini kwa sababu inapatikana kwa wingi bei yake ni kidogo haleluya so the value is determined by the, the value determine the price ile dhamana ya kitu ama bei ya kitu inamligana na bei ya hiyo kitu ina, 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 inaonyesha dhamana yake bwana asifiwe nilikuwa na najaribu kuelezea my children vitu zingine wananiuliza baba hii kwa nini inauzwa baikali hii kwa nini inauzwa na baikali wewe unajua gari zinaitwa Nissan unajua gari zinaitwa Toyota unajua gari zinaitwa Mitsubishi unajua gari zinaitwa Isuzu lakini kuna zingine zinaitwa Ferrari na zingine zinaitwa Lamborghini <laughs> haleluya Hizo ni za akina nani ndio walikuwa wananiuliza. Nikawaambia hizo kuligana bei zake na bei yake ni za wale watu ambao wanasikia ni wa hiyo class. 
bwana asifiwe the price determine the value and the class of the people ba bei yake inaonyesha ni akina nani wanatumia na ni akina nani ambao wanainunua bwana asifiwe na sisi kuna ile bei ya vile alisema atakuwa pamoja nasi there is a price you have to pay ili awe pamoja na wewe kuna ile dhamana ama ile bei kuna kitu unastahili kufanya na kuna kitu unastahili kutoa ili awe pamoja na wewe bwana asifiwe Matthew 20 verse 20 what is the price madhayo 20 mstari wa 20 akamwendea pamoja na wanawe akisudi judia na kumuomba and he said unto her what what will thou wilt thou she said unto him grant me that my two sons may sit one on thy right hand and the other on the left side akamwambia wataka nini akamwambia agiza kwamba hawa na wangu wawili waketi mmoja kwenye mkono wako wa kuume na mmoja kwenye mkono wako wa kushoto katika ufarume wako atumia kwa gira bwana asifiwe hapa kuna mama wa integrity na jina lake anaitwa mama wa watoto wa nani wa zebedi katika kanisa la Yesu alikuwa ametoa wana wawili John and James he was the mother of John and James wale watoto ambao walikutwa na baba yao na Yesu wakivua samaki Yesu akawaambia follow me wakaacha baba yao Zebedi haleluya hao ndio wanaitwa James and John naye mama yao alipoona watoto wake wamejitolea akaona wamefanyika kuwa wa, wa, at, wamefanyika kuwa mapasta ama ma, ma assistant pastor akaona ndio wanaongoza ibada akaona ndio wanaenda maovi hakuna wakati wanarudi nyumbani kila saa wanasema we have prayers bwana asifiwe saa zingine wanasema tuko ushirika akakuja kwa Yesu verse number 20 akamwambia kuna kitu ningetaka niombe juu ya watoto wangu bwana asifiwe sana haleluya akaulizwa na Yesu nini ninataka akasema nigeomba hao vijana wangu wawili wakati utafika wa ufalme wako mmoja akae mpande wako wa right na mwingine akae upande wa nini wa left haleluya na hiyo ni maombi mazuri ya kuombea watoto may god help you to pray for your children in the mighty name of jesus christ mama wa zebedi anatuonyesha vile tunastahili kuombea watoto wetu akaenda kwa yesu akasema i have no problem with my children lakini kuna kitu ningeomba i want you to be with them always Ningetaka ukae na wao kila waka katika ule ufalme ambao unakuja ningekuomba one who sit on the right one who sit on the left Bwana asifiwe Hiyo ni maombi mazuri hata sisi wote tunataka katika ufalme wa mbinguni tukae karibu na Yesu We would like to have Jesus always Huyu mama alikuwa na maono alikuwa anataka watoto wake wakae na Yesu milele Bwana asifiwe. Akaenda akamwambia, kuna kitu naombea watoto wangu. Nimejaribu kuwaambia wakuambie, lakini wanasema wanakuogopa. But I have come to ask for them in your kingdom because we believe in your kingdom. May one sit on the right and may one sit on the left. Yesu alisema nini? And Jesus answered and said, you know not what you ask. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yesu akamjibu akasema hamjui mnalolioba Amen You don't know what you are asking Ikiwa kunataka wakae upande huu na upande ule mwingine Mama wa integrity Unataka bwanako akae na wewe kanisani we hujui ni nini unauliza Unataka bwanako aokoke we hujui ni nini unauliza Unataka nyumba yako yote ikuje kwa Yesu na watu wenu wote wakuje to the kingdom mama akaambiwa na Yesu you don't know what you are asking bwana asifiwe ni vile alioba kitu baya hapana lakini the price ama gharama 
ya kile ambacho alikuwa anauliza hiyo ndio aliambiwa you don't know the price bwana asifiwe mswahili akasema vinavyoelewa ukiviona vyaelewa ujue zimefanya nini sinaudwa ukiona <laughs> ukiona hapa taima ine unaona inatembea tu softly si ndio unaona kama hai, hakuna hakuna kitu inafanya lakini ukienda chini ya maji uangalie miguu vile inafanya kazi utajua vile vinaelea vimefanya nini vimeudwa jioni leo nimekuja kukuambia tukitaka Yesu akae pamoja nasi there is a price bwana asifiwe kuna gara kuna gharama mama akaambiwa kukaa pade yangu sina shida lakini we ujui ni nini unauliza ujui ni nini unaitishia watoto wako ujui ni nini unajia, unauliza you don't know what you ask akawauliza are they able to drink the cup that i shall drink of and be baptized with the baptism that i am with they say unto him we are able mnaweza kunywa kikombe ambacho nitakunywa na kubatizwa ule ubatizo ambao nitabatizwa wakasema tunaweza ukitaka akae pamoja na wewe kitu ya kwanza if you want to be with god always you must drink the cup he has drunk lazima ukunywe kikombe ambacho amekunywa kikombe inaonyesha nini mateso alisema kikombe hiki baba na kuoba uniondolee alikuwa anasema mateso haya i'm praying uniondolee haya mateso akachukua mkate na akachukua kikombe akasema hii ni damu yangu iliyomwago kwa ajili ya watu wengi kwa hivyo alikuwa anaambia mama wewe haujui ni nini unauliza you want your student to die and to suffer for the kingdom bwana asifiwe kitu ya kwanza ambao unastahili kujua ikiwa tunataka awe pamoja nasi lazima tushiriki katika the same suffering zile alisafa bwana asifiwe sana wewe unataka kuwa na, wa, na, wa, na marafiki wengi yule ambao ulifuata kuna siku alisimama pirato akauliza hapa tuko na Barnabas na hapa tuko na nani tuko na Yesu wale wanasema ye, kura kwa Yesu mikono juu wale wanasema kura kwa Barnabas mikono juu kura zilizohesabiwa za Yesu zikakuwa kidogo ikasemekana afanye nini asurubishwe yule ndio nataka kufuata kuna siku yako ya kusurubisho itafika kura zako na wale ambao wanakupenda na wale ambao wanakujali know that kama unataka uwe pamoja na yeye na ukae karibu na yeye wale ambao wanakupenda na wale ambao wanakuchukia wakuchukia wao ni wengi kuliko wale ambao wanakupenda bwana asifiwe kikombe kiko the cup is there are you willing to drink bwana asifiwe sitaki kuwaweka uoga atiniwaambie mambo itakuwa baya but i want to tell you ile kitu ile ufalme ambao tumeitwa huo ufalme uko na maadui na uko na kikombe ambacho tunastahili kukunywa kuna suffering kuna mambo tutaacha hata kama ni mazuri kuna mambo tutaacha hata kama inaonekana ni mema there are things will suffer there are things will say no bwana asifiwe the cup must be drunk kama unataka kuonekana katika ufalme kama unataka uku, ukiomba na kujibu you must be ready to drink the cup bwana asifiwe hii kikombe hatuwezi kunywa tukiwa na our brothers na our sisters hii kikombe hatuwezi kunywa tukiwa na our parents hii kikombe hatuwezi kunywa tukiwa na wale ambao wanatupenda hii kikombe inasema Yesu akawaambia mtu yeyote ambaye anataka kunifuata abebe msalaba wake anifuate kila siku bwana asifiwe you must be ready to lose your life kwa maana alisema yeyote ambaye anataka kuokoa maisha yake huyo ataipoteza bali yule ambaye ataipoteza kwa ajili yangu maisha yake ataiokoa bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo we 
we must lose our lives. Lazima tukunywe ile kikombe alikunywa. Yesu ali, uh, ali, ali was he betrayed. Kuna mtu ambaye alimsaliti. Be ready in this life. People will come and betray you. Bwana asifiwe. Aliachwa mpaka akauliza baba kwa nini umeniacha? Alifika mahali akalia msalabani akasema Eloi Eloi kwa nini baba umeniacha expect in your life also to be leave, to be left alone bwana asifiwe so kikombe ikiwa unataka awe na wewe daima you must drink the cup he drank bwana asifiwe number 2 baptism la akawauliza watabatizwa vile nimebatizwa watajipatiana ubatizo ni nini kuingia kabisa wakati mtu anabatizwa na ubatizo wetu inakaribia sasa maji merudi chini na ikiwa haijarudi chini tutakushikiria uigie haleluya so in the next few weeks to be there watu wanapobatizwa wanawekwa ndani ya maji makadhirira kuo akauliza mama watoto wako wataisha katika ufalme watajipatiana yote bwana asifiwe will they give themselves holy will be they baptized with the baptism which am baptized kitaka aonekane katika maisha yako lazima umbatizwe na ubatizo yake bwana asifiwe mkono yako ikibaki nje you never be with you always kidole yako ikibaki nje watu wamejipatiana kwa Mungu lakini they have not given themselves holy hawajipatiana wote kuna mambo wamebakisha wako na plan b hii kikataa kufanya niko na hii gine lakini leo ningetaka kukuambia mama akaambiwa hujui kile unauliza watoto wako watajipatiana wote bwana asifiwe no mwakatuheane ni ndo ajili we must give ourselves for the kingdom lazima tuolewe na Yesu na tuolewe kabisa lazima tujipatiane kwake na tujipatiane kwake kabisa mama akasema watoto wakasema we are able bwana asifiwe verse number 23 so number one, lazima ukunywe kikombe kile ambacho alikunywa ikiwa unataka kukaa karibu na yeye Number two, lazima ufanye nini? Ubatizwe vile alibatizwa iko unataka kukaa karibu na yeye. So baptism and drinking the cup. Amen. Lazima tukunywe kikombe na lazima shida lazima ikuje. Mambo mengine inaenda kinyume cha vile tunaomba but he still remain our God. Mambo mengine tumeomba miaka mingi na bado haijakuja he still remain our God. Wakati uko mgonjwa he still your god. Wakati hakuna pesa kwa mfuko he still your god. Uko ready kusafa na kunywa kikombe kwa ajili yake. Bwana asifiwe. Verse 23. And you shall drink indeed my cup and by my side with my baptism that am baptized but to sit on my right hand and on my left is not mine to give it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared of my father akawaambia hakika mtakunywa kikombe changu lakini kuketi mkono wangu wa kuume na mkono wangu wa kushoto si amri si amri kuwapa bali watapewa waliowekewa tayari na baba yangu mungu akuwekee kiti kule biguni katika jina la yesu hallelujah hata wakikujwa na wakikula na, waki, na wakisafa akawaambia kuna wale ambao wameandaliwa <laughs> haleluya hata kama mtakucha akawaambia that is not within my power sio mimi nasema ni nani atakaa pande hii na nani atakaa pande ile nyingine kuna watu ambao are entitled wale watumishi kuna mambo inakuja hata kule tumeajiriwa 
kuna mambo tunapatiwa moja inaitwa housing benefit katika mshahara wako unawekewa pesa ya nyumba bwana asifiwe kwa sababu unakuja kazi unastay kuwa na nyumba na we, kwa sababu ni mtumishi wa bwana receive the housing benefit in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah pokea marupurupu ya nyumba katika jina la yesu naachilia nyumba yako katika anga ya kiroho in the mighty name of jesus christ receive your house because there is a housing benefit for a servant hallelujah mtumishi wote na mtumwa wote ako na marupurupu ya nini ya nyumba nasi kwa sababu amesema tukitaka kukaa karibu na yeye tuwe watumwa wake we are receiving housing benefit we are receiving our houses in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah pokea nyumba yako ni marupurupu yako kwa kuwa mtumishi wa bwana hallelujah number 2 wanakuwa na medical benefit kuna pesa ya kulipiwa bill ya hospitali kwa hivyo mtu akiwa mgojwa anaenda na kadi yake na anaenda analipiwa oh from today may your medical bill be covered by god in the mighty name of jesus christ na achilia biru zako katika jina la yesu na unajua mungu hatulipishi na mungu hatulipi bill vile anafanya he cancels the bill ngaitiko tore ya tore ya grabiru anazi cancel hallelujah kwa maana the bible says he sent his word and healed their diseases alituma neno lake akaponya magojwa ya so mungu wetu ni mponyaji kwa hivyo ana cancel the medical bill from today receive your medical bill which are cancelled in the mighty name of jesus christ kwa sababu wewe ni mtumishi wa bwana eh hale biru zako te ziwe cancelled in the mighty name of jesus christ kitu kingine wanapatiwa inaitwa commuter commuter allowance commuter allowance ni nini pesa ya kulipa gari ama kulipa nauri to pay fare ukienda kazi haleluya na sisi kwa sababu ni watumishi wa bwana tupokee commuter allowance zetu in the mighty name of jesus christ na kuobea pesa ya kuja katika kazi ya bwana receive it in the mighty name of jesus christ sisi ni watumishi ikuwa watumishi wa serikali wanapatiwa commuter hata watumishi wa Mungu katika anga ya kiroho kuna commuter zao receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ na mkisikizana vizuri na kununulia kagari haleluya ukiendea na kazi vizuri unapatiwa mafuta unapatiwa mileage allowance eh hey, we are servant of God ile benefit zote mambo yote ambayo inakuja kutokana na watumwa ile watumishi wanapatiwa tunapokea katika jina la Yesu haleluya receive all the grace and receive all the benefits of a servant in the mighty name of Jesus Christ ni arakomenya ni akomenya hore hore ikaraga because you are servant of God atajua mahakire utakura katika jina la Yesu Kristo watumwa wote wanapatiwa gwa chakula by their boss wanapatiwa gwa chai wanapatiwa gwa lunch oh haleluya mungu akuangalie na macho ya huruma na akupatie kile unahitaji kama mtumi mtumwa wake in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So ukitaka awe pamoja na wewe uwe mtumwa. Rastri alisema nini? And whoever will be the chief verse 27. Let him be the your servant. Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe. Verse 26 inasema whoever want to be among you but whoever want to be great among you let him be your minister so moja ni servant mwingine ni minister ukitaka kuwa mkubwa <laughs> eh hey, mtu yeyote anataka kuwa wa kwanza awe mtumwa so nimesema benefits za kuwa mtumwa inakufanya uwe wa kwa wa kwanza number four, you must be the minister you be mtumishi You must be minister. Minister wanafanyaka kuwa what? Great. Watumishi wanafanyika kuwa wakubwa. In Jesus mighty name. Watumwa wanafanyika kuwa wa kwanza. Tunaelewana? Do gatane sio sia bere. Then what the maki. Hallelujah. Pokea grace ya kuwa mtumishi katika jina la Yesu. The servants are the first. 
but the ministers are great. Taiga tena gezoku. Do gata nesia ke? Do gata? Do gata nesia? Watu mishi ni nani? Ne do gata? Savanti ni gobo. Gobo nesio siya better than one amaku a guy. The servants are the first in the kingdom. May you be first in the kingdom. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The ministers do gata nesio nene. Ukorowe muna tukuga wa bere. Bwana asifiwe. Kuwa mkubwa, kuwa mtumishi, inakufanya kuwa mkubwa. Lakini kuwa mkubwa, sio kusema uko wa kwanza. You are just great. Kitichako kiko mahali kinaonekana. Akasema, tukitaka hawe pamoja nasi, tuwe watumishi katika ufarume wake. May you become a minister in the kingdom. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To be great, kuwa na jina kubwa, kuwa unajulikana, kuwa, hey, bwana asifiwe. Greatness comes from ministering to the Lord. Nyo do watu ugata, modu wa diyaki abararagio, pokea kuinuliwa kwako, katika jina la yesu. Watu mishi diyo wanainuliwa, watu mwa wanakuwa wakwanza. Gobo siko osisia bere, nwe siko osisia bere neke. Ikuwa kuna kitu mungu anataka Wao diyo wakwanza kukuja Iri waulize ni nini naendelea They are always the first But the ministers are the greatest Oh hallelujah Receive the grace to be the greatest In the kingdom of God In the mighty name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah Doka na nyihe wa kinyo dhama kino wa igoro Oka hako onage tehado Aka wambia watoto wa zebedi Mukitaka kitienu iwe bere Amere dagira ulea maga atue kabere Na ulea maga kuwele liya gai Akimera monyu ya kikobe Akisoka akimera mkunyu ya kikombe Arafu mbatizwe Arafu wakawambia muwe watumua Arafu wakawambia muwe watumishi That's the greatness that you receive In the kingdom of God Siku ya reo ni nanena nini Tugetaka kukaribia mungu Tue tayari kukunyu ya kikombe Tue tayari kufanya nini Kubatizwa Tuwe tayari kuwa watumwa na tuwe tayari kuwa watumishi. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kama mungu wame kuita mahali hapa ukuwa servant, may you receive the grace to be a servant. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kazi ya mtumwa ni kutumwa. Kama wame kuita mahali hapa ukuwa mtumishi, receive the grace to be a minister. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Katika ufarumu wa mungu kuna watu marabiri. Kuna watumishi na kuna watumwa. And all of them, wanahitajika katika ufarume kazi ya watumishi ni kubeba ujube ambao uko, ka, uko katika ufarume na wanaletea watu kati ya watumwa kazi ya watumwa ni kushida wakitumwa wakifaidi, wakifanya kazi katika ufarume both the minister and the servant are important in the kingdom bwana asifiwe so siku ya leo who are you in the kingdom are you a servant or are you a minister Rakini wote ni sawa. Uki, akikuchagua ukiwa servant, you will be the first in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Damoho eromuze mutuike ya kudhia dhia. They know other maki wa guy. May you be the first in the kingdom of God. Gaye hogorogu wakakuona, todowe wa berego wake. Pokea yu neema, katika jina la yesu. Watu mishi kila saa. Oh, wao diyo wakubwa. They are great in the kingdom. Wanakavit is a heshima. So may God grant us the grace to be the ministers in the kingdom of God. Bwana asifiwe. So mama haku anajua ni nini anauliza. Haku anajua ni nini anaobea watoto wake. Alikuwa anawaombea kuwa watumishi na kuwa watumwa katika ufalme. Hata kama walipatana na shida, kama walikunywa kikombe, na hata kama wali 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 wali, 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 wali na ule ubatizo kuna mambo ambayo iliishia pale ukikubali kuwa na kunywa kikombe na ukikubali kubatizwa you become a servant and you become a minister bwana asifiwe so siku ya leo ninasema nini let us be ministers and let us also be like jesus anasema mstari wa, wa, wa 28 kama vile mwana wa adamu alisivyokuja kutumikiwa 
bali kutumika na kutoa nafasi yake iwe fidia kwa wengi haleluya yeye mwenyewe hakukuja kutumikiwa he came to minister na kujitoa nafasi ya, nafsi yake iwe kwa watu wengi so what am i saying leo mungu kuna watu wanatafuta anataka ukunywe kikombe na anataka ubatizwe lakini juu ya yote anataka uwe mtumishi you be a minister in the house of god bwana asifiwe kuwa mtumishi katika nyumba ya bwana tunastahili kufanya nini kuwa mtumishi katika nyumba ya bwana tunastahili kujitoa kama vile yesu alijitoa he became the sacrifice he became the example akakuwa mtumishi na akakuwa kodoo ambaye alichinjwa so siku ya leo do you want to move around with god ungetaka kuwa unaptembea na mungu hata wale watu ambao wanatembea na wanasiasa wale watu ambao wanatembea na watu wakubwa ni kuna mambo wanaacha huwezi waona kila mahali they are always following the big men na sisi tumeitwa na mungu tuwe tunamfuata kila saa tuwe tunamfuata kila siku may god help us to be servants in the mighty name of jesus christ Hallelujah. Na wewe upokee nafasi yako ya kwanza na upokee ukubwa wako siku ya leo kwa maana amekuita. So what am I saying today? He's always with us but we must pay the price. Lazima tulipe gharama. Na gharama ni kuwa nini? Tukunywa kikombe, kuna mambo ambayo itakuja ya kutuhat katika maisha yetu, kuna mambo ambayo itakuja ya kutufanya tu, uh, tuwe tunasikia vibaya kuna mambo ya shida kuna tabu mingi but we must be ready to pay the price bwana asifiwe tuwe tayari tena kubatizwa we must give ourselves holy tujipatiane sawa sawa kuache mambo yote ikiwa tuko katika ufalme let afuata aliishia pale msalabani then lazima tuwe watumishi na tuwe watumwa in the mighty name of jesus christ Hatuna letu sasa tunagojea vile atatuambia tunamwambia Jesus your will is our command ni nini unataka tufanye tukiamka asubuhi tunamwambia katika shughuli zetu tunagojea vile unasema siku ya leo because your will is our command and your desire is our command ni nini unataka siku ya leo and then we minister to God so that we can be great so nimekupatia Jia ya kuonekana katika ufalme wa mbinguni na vile utapatikana kule na vile utajulikana huko ni kwa wale ambao ni watumishi na ni kwa wale ambao ni watumwa so he's always with us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hata mimi na siko mkubwa sana na sijulikani bali sana ukitaka tukae tukiogea na wewe kila wakati anza kufanya kitu katika kanisa na mimi sio mtu mkubwa anywhere haleluya ukitaka nisugulike na wewe na ukitaka nijue hata majina yako ile ingine. Na wewe uko unatumenya kama wewe utakao aboika na utakao ivira. Kwa sababu wewe ni hakuna kitu unafanyaga. Lakini wale wanafanya kazi, I know their names. All of them, ya kikuyu, hata ile wanaitangwa na husband zao. Najua. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa sababu ni watumishi. Na wa, ukitaka waki, uki, wakiwa na shida, niko na shida. Because they are ministers they are servant so hata welfare yao najua kuna mambo na wauliza how are you doing hata kama hakuna mambo mengi bwana asifiwe ninasukua simu na wapigia wewe kuona simu yangu na utasimama tu hata kama unakunywa chai utashidwa nini ni baya siku ya leo lakini <laughs> haleluya <laughs> utashidwa ni nini baya siku ya leo kwani nimefanya nini lakini wale ambao wanatumika they know they know hata wanajua na wanajua sande tukimaliza church sio kwenda huwezi tuwe sema uh, and the grace hallelujah atusikisema grace umechukua bag yako uko kwa uko kwa barabara wanajua tunaleka leka tu hapa tukikojea kama kuna ajenda ingine hata kama <laughs> those are the servants bwana asifiwe wanakaa tu wanagojea kama kuna AOB amen lakini wale ambao si watumishi na wale ambao si watumwa ikifika saa saba, wanauliza hii maobi inakaa sana hii maobi sitagojea bwana asifiwe 
Bwana asifiwe. Lakini watumwa na watumishi wanajua program hapa kanisa inafugagwa six. They know that. Bwana asifiwe. Na hatuna ajenda zade hata ikuwe na muna gani hata kama hakuna popenea hakuna mambo mengine sisi ni watumwa wa Kristo. Tumaa goko liwa le ikatwe. Hiyo ndio inajulikana. Naye Mungu anatushughulikia kwa sababu sisi ni watu. Haleluya. Niko sio na sieka kigerio ona si totota si waire muno they are among the best in Jesus mighty name. Diposa watoto wetu wote wako shule saa hii. Hata kama kulikuwa na covid na kulikuwa na shida ya karo ya shule kuna benefit kwenda kindu kinea na kuokolea dugata hatuwezi mtumikia na watoto wetu wakae bure anawabariki may god bless you in the mighty name of jesus christ nasikia katika anga kiroho kuna kitu mungu anatuachilia kama watumwa wake there are benefits kuna mambo anatuletea katika jina la yesu mungu anashughulika anauliza ni nini baya na watumishi wangu kwa nini leo wamekasirika hallelujah the bible says katika kitabu cha Nehemiah Nehemiah alikuwa na 